For most of your XML file reading needs, probably what you want to use is simple XML. However, if you have large files, a simple XML can be problematic because it has to load everything into the memory before it even starts. And there are two other ways to read large files, which are more performant. That is with XML Reader and SAX. Let me show you how to do it with XML Reader. So basically, we have this members XML file that we created. And I'm going to use XML Reader to read through it. XML equals new XML Reader. You don't have to set any DLLs or anything. This will all be available to you in PHP 5.2. Members XML, so this is the name of our file. Open it. And the way XML Reader works is it goes one element at a time through the file. It doesn't work like simple XML in that you have access to any part of the file. So you have to imagine a pointer skipping through the file and you have to read the piece of information where the pointer happens to be at that time and then save it into some kind of array so that you get the information in an array at the end. That's why right here I'm going to say members because mem members equals array because I want to loop through the file here with a while loop and build my members array as I get the information about the members as I go through with XML Reader. So this is a syntax for the while loop. Read. Okay, so we've got a while going here. And now... Let me show you, for instance, how to get the first name. Okay, we're stepping through here, and we have to ask at this point, if XML node type equals XML reader element, that means if we're on an element, and XML local name, it's called, equals first name, so where we are here is uh, in here. We're stepping through, dink, 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 all the way through. And if we are here, if we're at an element and the element's name is first name, that's then we're inside this if loop, then we want to read. And let's output that. Just for now, output XML value at this point. What, what is the value of this element that we're at right now? Let me put a little BR because we'll get more than one. It should be on one line each. So here we go. And we see we get each of the first names. So that's the concept here. Now what we want to do is as we go through, we want to pick up the first name. We want to pick up the last name, the score, the ID and position. All of this information here, we want to pick up and build it into some kind of useful array. Because that's probably what you'll be doing if you're using XML Reader. You want to go through your file and get um, maybe not all information, but little parts of the nodes, specific information that you're looking for. So this is how you do it. So basically, we need to ask if we are at the member element here. And if we are, then we need to create a new array, basically a new member array to put into our collection of arrays. So let's do that. Basically, we're checking the attributes here. We can call it that. XML node type equals XML reader element. It's the same thing as below. And XML local name equals member. OK. Now, what are we going to do here? That means we're at member right here, or here, or here. So. What do we need to do here? Well, member equals array. Because we can now start to get the information. Member ID, for instance, the ID, we can get out like this, XML get attribute ID. And the same thing with the, what else do we have here? Position, let's just copy it here. Position, position. And so now we're building this member array. And then at the end here, when we're on score, because that's our last one, then we'll add the member array to the collection of members. And that'll work out very nicely to get all this information that we need from the XML file. So let me just uh, copy this first name. I believe I can just say this first, last, selected lines, perfect, replace all, excellent. So that did that. We now have, hmm, we need to do the same kind of thing here, actually. We don't want to echo it. We want to say first name 
equals XML value like this. So super. Now we want to do the same thing for last name and also for score. So last name, score, and here, score, and here. Let's copy it. It's always better to copy. Don't get so many typos. So now there's something special about score. As I mentioned earlier, it's the last one and we have to know when we can close and stop recording this member. Well, it's when we're at score because they each have a score. So let's also write this to any other programmers who happen to come in here. This is the, this is the last element. Add the member array to the collection. Okay, let's do that. Members, that's our collection. Add member. All right. So now, let's see. Let me open this up here. We have here members, and then we go through with the XML reader. And when we're done, we're going to have a filled collection of members. Let me display this echo. Let me make a little function. We always want to make it look nice, of course. Members. Da -da -da -da. And now let's make this function to display this. Display members, members. Okay, now we've got, so I'll make my for each here. Members, super members. Okay, so now we have a member there. And what do we want to say? Let's build this into a nice looking table here. Table. And after the for each loop, table. The reason why I always do count members is if you do a for or next loop on an empty array, you get a warning. And so that always avoids that. It's just clean programming here. So tr and end tr. And now we just need to print these out. So let's do one and then copy it. td member id ntd let's make this look nice it's always good to know a little css background color uh, this and give it a little padding 3px okay now we can copy this how many do we need four and we need to show here first name we need to show here last name and we need to show here score. So that should do it. Let's see if it works. After we read uh, all the information out, we display it. Let's see how it displays. Wonderful. Except for the ID. Hmm. The ID didn't get in here. I wonder why that is. Well, let's look up here. Member ID equals get attribute ID. And let's make sure we have an ID in here. ID equals, yes, and, and it's in the member. Okay, equals one, two, three. That's fine. We seem to be getting the thing here. It's after our array. Okay, is it anything with displaying here? Okay, so must be something up here. Local name. Okay, here. Just got the arrow here. We don't have the arrow here. That could make a difference. Okay, and... Let's try it Okay, now we have all the information. So here you can see that although XML Reader is a little more complicated than simple XML, it has the advantage that it's going to be faster going through your file. And if you have a super large file, like one time I was in a project and XML file came on a CD and the XML file was about as big as a CD, 500 megabytes. And we just could not open it with anything like simple XML or, or DOM. So we had to go through it actually with SAX, which I'll show it in another lecture. Or you could also use XML Reader to read a large file like that.